Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this picture of this file and wanted their dog's name in it and thinking he has to use a stencil font. And you could, but you don't have to. I did it right here, and this is what it's going to look like if we fill in the wood part with blue. That's going to be all the wood, and that circle will cut out, and it will not be there. But that'll work, and it'll all hold together. So how I did that was really pretty easy. I've got my bone that I previously drew. I've got my word for the dog, Echo. I'm going to go up here and make sure it's a curve. So I'm going to convert it to a curve. I'm going to contour it. And so all I did was contour this red line to the inside a quarter of an inch. I'm going to contour the name to the outside a quarter of an inch. And I get that. Now I'm going to make some adjustments. So it's got some touching point for the wood not to break if you're going to cut this out. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to have to keep stretching it. So I get it where it's touching that and I can actually go a little bit shorter. Now I need to go a little bit taller and I've got all my letters connecting now. I'm going to set my nudge factor on, let's see how big this is, seven inches. I'm gonna set it on eight inches. I'm gonna take my black line and okay, what I need to do is break that contour apart so I'm gonna to have to, well, let's just nudge the whole thing up. And then select it all. There's that picture. Select, or go, select it, go to break contour apart. Now I'm gonna bring my red line back. And I'm actually gonna take the word down. Whoop, I need to break that contour apart. And basically, let's do the same thing. We need to select it all to break the contour apart. Go to object, break contour apart. Now I'm gonna take the red part of the contour and move it up. And that's what's so nice about the nudge factor, nudge distance. Now I can actually take this and make this black and no hairline. So I want it just to gray. We're gonna have to nudge that up a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take both this. I'm gonna go front minus back and see what it did. Now let's nudge this up and nudge this down. And that is gonna work. That will cut out. You don't have to use a stencil font. I think it'll look pretty cool. Let's turn it into blue. So everything in blue is gonna be wood showing. Everything in black is gonna, because that will actually not cut out, the center is gonna cut out. So we'll look at it with a yellow box and go to object and order, back of page. That's what it's gonna look like in wood. The blue is your wood, the black is your engraving. That way you don't have to use a, one, you don't have to buy that file, and two, you don't have to use a stencil font. That might be a little bit weak right there. I would make sure my letters are touching, I maybe would even touch this. So let me just back up here a little bit. See how far we can go back. Might not be able to go back farther, not far enough. Nope, we're, we're still there. Now we've converted that letter to a curve. So let's take those two nodes and we'll actually select it all three. And let's just bring that over. This is a little bit weak here. You could bring it down and you'd want to use the uh, tool to make sure you do that. This is pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Uh, you'd want to use the contour tool to make sure that you're going straight up and down with this, but hold down the contour, or not contour, control key. I've got them both selected. And you're making that a little bit, I've messed it up a little bit, but you can easily fix that. So that's gonna give you a lot stronger joint. So now let's go and select it all and go front minus back. Now, with what we did, we might have to take the virtual segment delete key, delete tool and delete that. Now let's bring our word back in. 
bring our bone back down. And let's fill it in with blue now. See what it looks like, or any color. Actually, we ought to use a brown so it looks like the wood. That's what it's going to look like, and that'll be pretty strong. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.